Hey, what's up guys? This is just a quick update about the mysterious case of Danny Philippidis, the gentleman who went missing while skiing with his friends in the mountains of upstate New York and was then found six days later reappearing in Sacramento, California with his memory missing of those previous six days uh, except for a couple of very vague memories which we'll be discussing soon. Uh, so check out my previous video for the basic facts of this case. Okay, so the first update is at the bottom of the page here highlighted. He was found with just under a thousand dollars in cash. The police are now reporting today. So this is significant because when the story broke, a lot of people were wondering how was he able to buy an iPhone and a haircut if he had left everything behind, including his car, back in New York. So this somewhat explains it. But it also raises more questions. To begin with, when and where and how did he access an ATM or a bank to withdraw so much money while traveling across the country during those six days that he doesn't remember? Also, just to be clear, a new iPhone is about $800 at the very least, as far as I know. So uh, for him to have been found with about $1,000 and a new iPhone, that would mean that he would have had to have withdrawn about $2,000 uh, at some point from some bank or ATM. And so, if he did do that at some point, there would obviously be bank records and ATM records, so um, I'm looking forward to such information coming out in the coming days, hopefully. And just to show you what this article is from, this is the star.com, which is the Toronto Star, which is apparently one of the biggest news networks in Canada. And one reason that I'm hopeful for information coming out soon is in this clip right here from one of the local Adirondack news stations. Check it out. But police say so far they aren't aware that Philippidis has broken any laws, so they're not anticipating charging him at this point. But of course, that's all dependent on what's uncovered during their investigation. Now, New York State Police say Philippidis is on his way back to the Adirondacks for questioning. He's expected to arrive sometime tonight. That's the latest here in Wilmington. I'm Liz Strappa, NBC5 News. Okay, so the point of that clip was that I'm excited that Danny Philippidis is returning to the Adirondacks to speak with police about what actually happened during the last week of his life that he cannot remember. Okay, so those are the updates for now. I'm looking forward to hearing any new information that may come out from his interviews with the Adirondack police. And in my next video, I'll be talking about screen memories, which seem that they could be central to this gentleman's case.